everybody, Michael Phoenix here, founder of the magazine. It's on a gorgeous, I mean, drop dead. I am in short sleeves in the, after the first week of October, autumn day here in here in the small town of Catasauqua, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're standing at basically at the corner of Front and Pine. You have the Caddy Mart, which is a great convenience store and gas station, right there. Uh, some beautiful artwork right right here, and just up the street couple small great small businesses and Paisan Pizzeria um, definitely gotta stop by check this place out for the pizza and the food highly highly recommend the Sicilian but anyway on to the topic of why I'm doing this, uh, this article uh, just about an hour ago about 45 minutes ago I just left and thank quick quick thank you to my father uh, I thought I missed it this year but North Catasauqua was autumn festival yes that's right there is a Catasauqua and the North Catasauqua uh, you, can't, you pass into each one without even realizing unless you're paying attention. But anyway, at the North Catasauqua Park, um, right behind the Blue Monkey, right off Howardtown Road, um, they have an a annual fall festival. Now, you know, North Catasauqua and Catasauqua are great, I mean, beautiful small towns here in Lehigh Valley. So I didn't expect it to be too huge. But I'll tell you what, as you can tell from the photo and video, this thing was, I, well, I got there and I was like, holy shit. I did not expect this thing, that that festival, to be that large. Honestly, I was very, I was blown away by the size of it. And also, they, they also do a fantastic car show there. Now, thank the gods, goddesses, whatever you believe in, for the perfect weather today. Because I'll tell you what, that now the the turnout was fantastic. Um, now, I, the the festival is a combination of several aspects. Uh, when I walked up the street, it was the first part. It was like almost like a flea market. Then you got into the vendors, the and the arts and crafts. They had uh, flirting with the mob, live music there, um, old kind of like an oldies band. Uh, they the the fire trucks there. They had uh, different events for the kids, a holistic eating contest. Which, yep, you know you, you kind of have to live in the area. Or know the food to understand to understand it. Um, they had food there. They had a. It was one of the biggest car shows that I know of here in the Lehigh Valley, uh, right there in that in the Catasauqua Park. I mean, they were packed in tight. So I mean, this is just. And when I was there, I'm like, oh shit, I gotta leave, and I and I got work I gotta do. It's like, damn it, you know, I I didn't want to leave, okay. And for some for the amount of events and fairs and festivals I've covered in this area. Normally it's like walk around, do the photo, video, get an idea for the article, boom, see ya. But this one, it you know, it felt, it just had this really welcoming, like you belong here. We don't care where you're from, but you belong here. Feel to it. The food prices were fantastic. They grabbed two hot dogs and a donut for two fifty. I mean, you know, flirting with the mob. They provided the, they provided just perfect feel good. Uh, if, like summer style music, um, Borneo, you know, music like, you know, that basically just puts you, puts most people in automatically in a good mood. Although I will say one thing, there's one song they need to stay away from and I hate throwing a critique here, but suggestion to flirting with the mob, never do Borneo again, again. Vocals, background vocals way off and way flat. But anyway, back to the, back to the fall festival. Um, this thing is designed for, it seems like it's set up for both the adults and the kids, but it's mainly, <clears throat> so if you're a single adult, you know, I'm 44 like myself, you can walk around, you can have a great time, um, especially if you're into the cars. And yes, the Trans Am has always been my dream car. I almost cried when Pontiac went out of business, but there was a white Trans Am there in 1999, and man, it was beautiful. See the photo. Uh, but it was just, this is, you know, one thing you notice that you really take notice when you get into small towns here in Leah Valley is that it's just, you know, the events are designed more for the families. I mean, Bethlehem, you know, uh, you know, Bethlehem is has a lot of fairs and festivals which are family oriented, but when you get towards the evening and after sunset, they become more based on, the, honestly, based on the alcohol. You know, you know, and they really, you know, that's the way they make the money. But they really push the you know the beer and the alcohol whereas like you get into the small town festivals 
Yeah, you like Caddy's Festival did not have beer, any alcohol there at all. None. And you know what? Everybody had a fantastic and, and great time. And I, I could tell that just by walking around. You know, everyone was in a good mood. You had the perfect weather for it and everything else. I mean, you cannot have asked for a more perfect way, a more perfect festival. Um, you know, definitely, if you're in Lehigh Valley next year, especially if the weather's nice, uh, look, uh, check it out. They have a Facebook page, Best of North Catasauqua Fall Festival on Facebook. Look up North Caddy when it is, and if the we- especially if the weather's perfect, you know what? You really got to check it out. Michael Phoenix, founder of the magazine. Take care, everybody. Thanks for the support. I'll see you around later.